All right, welcome back to the channel. I want to introduce you to the newest member of our family, Dutch. Dutch is a Chevy Silverado 3500 HD. This thing is awesome, amazing, amazing packages. We have the LT with the bucket seats that does have the heat, and we'll take a look at the inside of them. But, uh, but Dutch is amazing so far. There is one challenge we're having with Dutch. Uh, that is the seven pin connector. Doesn't feed enough voltage into the Furion. Uh, backup camera on the back of our 247 BH. Uh, currently working with the dealership here in my local area to figure out the issue. So if you're with Chevy and you're watching this, uh, hey man, can you uh, can you solve that problem? Because uh, backing up the trailer is kind of hard. If you don't have a backup camera. So uh, let's go ahead and take a look at it. Dutch, all its glory. So Dutch is a monster, 3500. HD this thing is large we did put some Weston six inch step up bars on there uh, because I'm short my wife's short and the kids are short as well <clears throat> here's the back of the tr truck we did also put a bed cover on the back it's a, a bed flip uh, this thing flips up in the trifolds what's nice about this too is with the back of the truck you push this button right here and the truck comes down we do store all of our containers in here. We've gone to a container system. It makes it so much easier to move stuff in and out as well as for my wife to package stuff up. As you can see on the left hand side is also our hitch as well. So we're going to push the button back here and put the tailgate back up. One of the good things about this truck too is the fact that these mirrors do extend further out which allow us to see further to the right and left of the trailer. It's absolutely amazing. Uh, we do have the Allison transmission Duramax 6.6 liter diesel engine in this bad boy. Had no problems pulling our 247 BH. Um, this thing is rated at like 29,000 pounds for the GC BWR. And I'll create another video of why that number is important and why you guys keep an eye on it. So let's go ahead and take a look at the inside of the car. So here we have the driver's side. We have the bucket seats in here. Um, they do have the the seat mobilizers on the pa on the driver's side. However, the passenger side does not have the electronic seat adjustments. Take a look on the inside of here. And here's the lovely passenger seat where my lovely bride sits at. Now we're gonna get towards the back of it. The back is actually nice and spacious. Um, as you can see, we've already added a car seat back there as well for my youngest to ride in. This is a crew cab truck, so it does come with four large doors. Go ahead and open up the back door, take a look at it. Our golden retriever of 60 pounds has no problem laying in the back of here. As you can see, it's plenty of room for the dog as well as both kids and a lot of extra room as well. Now, this is a bench seat that does fold up. There is storage underneath here. We'll take a look at it as we move to the passenger side of the vehicle. So one of the cool things one of the kids has actually found is that this seat actually comes down, has some extra storage in here. We do end up putting some valuables in there when we get going so shh, don't tell anybody um, but the kids love it they've put their stuffed animals in there it's pretty much the only valuable things we got in there these seats do fold up as you can see there is the jack on the other side is the torque wrench that's needed however i can't lift it up because of the small one seat but as you can see these things are pretty large good size background we are putting weather techs in the back we do them for the front but we don't have them for the back yet i accidentally ordered the wrong one so it's okay one of the neat things too here is you actually have a couple connectors for your wireless devices and you also have a cigarette light adapter. Uh, we do use this for the kids um, as we do for a lot of the long trips that we take. And then we also have the AC. We love pushing this down towards Bobby who lays right here on the ground. He absolutely loves it. He was asleep within the minutes. Put that back down. And let's take a look at the passenger side. <clears throat> There we go. It's a great room, great leg room, not a problem. We do have the weather tech down as well. Ah, oh, there we go. So we're gonna go ahead and uh, take a look at the interior. Turn this bad boy on. Need to push the brake in. Ooh, love that sound of the diesel engine turning up. It does have a full thing in there. We're gonna turn off the AC. There we go. 
so this is actually pretty cool. Uh, a lot of the stuff is up here on the dashboard. Uh, there are little arrow keys down here that you'll push to navigate through there. So we'll go ahead and take a look at our mileage currently, which is actually pretty good. Uh, it does have trip one, trip two, as well as the fuel range, the oil life, the tire pressure on the tires, which is actually pretty good. The rear does have more pressure on the tires just to accommodate for the extra towing capacity this 3500HD actually has. Uh, okay, with oil life, brake life, that's pretty awesome to have on there. Uh, the average fuel, 22.3, I think that was all highway at one point, but we're averaging 4.1 miles per gallon. Uh, we've used this majority for trailing the trailer in the 247BH, so it's actually pretty good for almost 14 miles per gallon. Fuel life, the DEF, or the diesel emission fluid gauge, and the page info. Then we have some music, we have navigation, we have phone call, and then we have the menu itself. Now, one of the cool things about the about Dutch is the trailer brake itself. Uh, that comes standard on there. Um, again, we also have the the USB connectors, the fire the firewire, and then we also have the cigarette lighter adapter. Uh, we use the cigarette adapter. One of the cool things about the 3500 HD is once you sync your phone to it, you actually don't have to connect your phone uh, with a hard wire going into it, so which is awesome, which is pretty awesome. Uh, one of the cool things too is the trailer and package you hit trailer and it actually saves all the information that you need for any trailer so we call our trailer Lucy there's no trailer connected but it does offer a status when it's connected it allows you to check the wiring one of the things cool too is about it has a checklist of items that you can do to make sure that you safely connect your trailer and then you can add different trailers in there to add different weights. So we had Lucy in there. Lucy, it also calculates the actual mileage that you've traveled with the trailer. Uh, and then also the average fuel economy for the trailer as well. So 10 and a half is what we're getting with, with, uh, with the 247BH. Isn't bad at all. And then trailers as well. Um, it does have trailer detection, maintenance alerts, theft auto, and toll haul mode reminder uh, that you can set to make sure when you are hooked in with the seven pin or the four, four pin it does tell you that you do need to um, you know turn on the, the hauling which is actually over here on the left side of the driver um, it's this button right here you'd simply turn the knob to the left and then an indication will come on the dash we'll go ahead and do that now and as you can see the trailer has shown up at the bottom next to the mileage we're going to turn that off it does also have an off-road package as well but we're going to put it back to normal And then again, here is your two wheel high, your four high, and your four low, as well as all the lights that go onto the truck as well to do those. Another cool thing is all these little buttons down here they have. This is the exhaust brake. This is the oh crap. I am hitting a lot of, I need to stop really fast. The parking brake, it even has a bed trunk flipper. The hazard lights, the anti-swerve this also this button actually controls this 12 volt right here there's also one in the bed of the truck as well and then we also have the all windows open at the same time this is for really really hot days uh it's your standard ac above here they do have the heat and the air conditioning for each of the seats as well and then your typical dashboard up here as well this thing has amazing storage, has a nice little center console. We've already started putting some stuff in there. One of the things I would suggest as a hack is to keep all of the cables that you have for this vehicle in a single bag. Um, we don't, this isn't a daily driver for us. This is strictly for um, towing Lucy uh, and all the adventures that we go on. So we keep these in the car for the kids also for us as well. And then also the trailer keys and some coins just in case we need them. And then this thing's pretty deep as you can see. It also has an SD card and some more connectors for your devices as well. So that's the center console. Pretty awesome, pretty nice. Great little armrest right here. In the middle, we do have the two cup holders for the kids, or we store extra stuff in there. My wife likes having two or three Diet Cokes with us as much as possible. All right, well, I hope you guys really loved the tour of the newest family member. 
to Wanderlust, the Chevy 3500 HD, the beast of towing. Uh, we love the vehicle so much. Um, the first trip was so much easier with this heavy vehicle. This vehicle will last us the rest of our life um, and we hope to use it for fifth wheels as well as bigger travel trailers in the future. So if you guys like this video and want to see more, make sure you hit that subscribe button right below here. Thanks again for watching. Hope to see you guys on the next video. Have a good one.